Hello, I'm Seeks97 and welcome to another tutorial by me. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a Ventrilo server. The first thing we need to download is the server setup file, and that can be acquired from ventrilo.com. So just go to the download part of the menu pane, scroll down to it says server programs, and click the Windows i386 32 bit. So there's no 64 bit, but it doesn't matter if you have 64 bit like me, it'll still work. So just click that, click I agree then save that setup and just let that download. So once that's downloaded just double click the setup file, uh, click next, accept and next, uh, put your name in, so my name, organisation can leave that blank and then put it anyone who uses this computer, next, next again, next and just let that install. So once that installed it should say click finish to button to exit this installation, just click finish and that's your server installed onto your computer. I'm going to show you how to set up the whole server. So the first you want to do is go to start all programs, find vent server or v vent SRV which is underneath Ventrilo. Click that and then here the first we need to click is edit INI file. Click that and the two things you need to edit are name so call that your server name whatever you want that to be called so I'll just call it test server Phonetic, you can leave that, but I'll just put it says servers. That's not really the second thing. The second thing is admin password. So that's the password that admins use to connect to it so they can like edit it, which is going to be you. So just put any password there. So I'll just test password. I should just put its password. And then this is the other thing here. It's a password, which is pe what people have to type in to connect to your server. If you leave that blank, then it means there's no password. So file, save, close that. Then go back to that vent server folder and click Ventrilo server. And when it says ready after all this is done, then you know that your server is now running. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you want to find out how to connect to your server and how to forward ports that are necessary for your server to work for everyone, then please go watch my next video, which will be uploaded very soon after this one. Thanks for watching.